I've been fascinated by the topics of self-improvement and fitness for a very long period of my life. I'm 20 and a half and I've been working out since the latter half age of 14. Sometimes I feel I look really good and then 20 minutes later I feel embarrassed for even thinking I looked respectable at all. I hate this perpetual loop of self-loving and self-loathing and I hate having my self-worth placed on the way I look. I know working out and eating healthy is a good thing. So why do I feel like sometimes they're negative traits and I, I should be ashamed for caring about those things? I get compliments occasionally and I feel like I ride the high of those compliments until it's been enough time where I start doubting my worth as a human again. I, I use affirmations sometimes to convince myself that I'm successful, charming and have really big muscles but it's difficult to maintain this when I have such an overbearing feeling of shame for the way I live. I don't know if that's the right word because shame implies there's something wrong with what I'm doing. But I, I believe this is derived by comparison completely. I see other people on social media or around me that present as happy, financially stable and content. And it feels almost impossible not to compare every quality of their life to yours. Equally, I do the exact same thing. Put on a front, everything's always going my way to those around me. Ultimately, feeling not enough is an illusion, created within your mind, and it's rooted in comparison to those around us. Do you ever feel not enough compared to, say, like a tree, or a bush, or a lion in the wild? I put a ridiculous amount of pressure on myself to live a life I deem worth living. The expectation is never a good thing. It takes away from the ability to live presently and appreciate appreciate the things I actually want to do. I don't want to be working out to desperately look like an Instagram influencer that looks like a science experiment gone wrong. I want to be working out appreciating the flow of the workout, the contractions and the good feelings and endorphins after I've finished. It's hard to not sit and compare yourself to others, especially when your external looks are so intrinsically tied to your experience of the world. You know, if you're a bit bigger, a bit more muscular, people might treat you a bit nicer, a bit more respect, a bit more attention from women. It feels like that anyway, sometimes. I always use the analogy that our bodies are boats. And our experience through life is the ocean. If your body's a small little dinghy boat, your experience of life's waves will be much more extreme compared to that if your body was a warship. Then waves are going to mean nothing. It's a nice four and it has some, some truth to it, but it's underpinned by this idea that life will be easier the better you look. Life will become good if I look a certain way, which is a really toxic way of thinking and a really toxic way of looking at your body. And in reality, there are many admirable traits you can display that will earn the respect of your peers. One of them traits most importantly is just being content with your place in the world. Just known for a fact that you're, you're doing all right, you're doing good. There are now an immeasurable amount of ways to calculate one's worth that have not been there previously. Likes, followers, subscribers. True satisfaction in life and feeling whole do not come from these external factors. And potentially do not come from internal factors either. But maybe to stop looking altogether. In, uh, in the video, Am I Worth Anything At All by Sisyphus55, in a video covering much the same existential questions I'm sort of posing here, he talks about Immanuel Kant's view of worth. Uh, Kant saying that humans have intrinsic worth, i.e. dignity, which makes them valuable above all price. The idea being, just for existing, we are worthwhile, which is quite a nice idea, to be honest. And it makes me feel content being me. Sisyphus said, It does feel nice to be approved of, but it's nice to know that it isn't a requirement to enjoy time here, which I think is an equally nice sentiment. I, feel, I think the route around this for me has been shifting my mindset and letting myself know that I am enough and I don't have to be perpetually working out or doing things that are productive to my standing in the world. It's definitely hard to break that cycle of self-doubt and it definitely will come back time and time again. 
but just focusing on the people you love and, and the little things you love to do every day and trying to not give mental energy to that comparison or worrying about how good you look. Just they're good practices to avoid that psychological trap. Anyway, I was sort of using this video as a bit of a self-reflection on my own personal relationship with self-worth and all facets of my life. Trying to de deconstruct why I do the things I do and think the way I think. And uh, hopefully that strikes a chord with other young people feeling a similar sort of way. This uh, these deconstruction is important and I think it's important to have an outlet to reflect. Um, Think about the common schemas we unconsciously take part in. Uh, a schema is a, a pattern in psychological behavior. I learned that through the course of research in this video actually, which is probably useful to know. Um, but yeah, this video was just sort of made to get this off my own brain after like a heavy month of just being really busy. I didn't really give myself the time to relax and then when I have finally become less busy, I was feeling quite a lot of negative emotion so I just almost wanted to journal it into a video format. Again, I hope it's been useful. Maybe someone relates to some or all of what I was said. But anyway, all love in a bit.